Namaste, beautiful gods and goddesses. Goddess Dr. Me here with the hashtag The Law Theology Daily Moon Reading and Integrative Self Healing Energetic Study Practice and Training for today. Today is Friday, Good Friday, April 7th, and the moon is in Scorpio, and the active chakra is the Hada chakra or the sacral Hada chakra. So some of the things that we talked about in conjunction with the chakra or how we can uh, how we can activate it. This chakra is all about our feelings. I desire, I feel, I want. So one of the things that we talked about is our feelings, our emotions, and how we can seek those good emotions in our lives. So right now we're gonna look at two things. I wanna talk to you about what emotions are for a minute. We're gonna look at some ways that we can practice bringing joy into our lives every day. And then we're gonna end with a minute of laughter. It has been shown that laughter, which has five healing benefits, uh, presence and lightness, it massages the heart, because helps us connect, reduces stress. It is an emotional release. And so we're going to uh, try to end with at least a minute of laughter after I go through all of this. I love this 10 minute format, by the way, because it, uh, it gives me a chance to give you more in that night as one of uh, one of uh, one of the subscribers said and a very good friend she said uh, it doesn't cut you off I get a chance to give you all the information so first let's look at some emotions what are emotions emotion come from, comes from the Latin word uh, motion motion by the way comes from the Latin word that means movement e means from or away from. So emotions are about energy being transmitted and we feel it either from someone else or it goes out from us. Energy moves. Energy has a vibrational frequency and energy forms and transforms. Emotions move. They have a vibrational frequency. They take form. They're changing all the time and they're impermanent. And so you continually change from one emotion to another. The, this moment you can be sad, and the next moment you can be happy. In this moment you can be compassionate, and the next moment you can be unkind or indifferent. This moment you may be angry, and another moment you could be loving. This moment you may be blissful, and the next moment you could be anxious. This motion of emotions goes on and on and on. Change is the only constant. Emotions are states temporary forms. They're comprised of energy that are in a constant flux, always changing. Energy takes form and emotions are forms. Anything that takes forms, form by its very nature will transform and dissolve. You are depressed, but you can't remain depressed forever. Even the most depressed person laughs sometimes. Even the saddest person smiles sometimes. And the person who is happy and laughing will sometimes break down and cry. Emotions are impermanent by their very nature. And they move and continuously change from one emotion to another. And you have never had an emotion that has lasted. You have never experienced an emotion that never ended. You've never felt an emotion that was permanent. Investigate for yourself and then you'll realize that this deeply is the truth. This is the truth. This too shall pass, whether it's a good emotion or bad emotion. If it is a good emotion that makes you feel good, remember this too shall pass and savor the moment. If it is a bad emotion, remember it can't last forever. This too shall pass. So what are the components uh, of emotions? There are four components of emotions. Okay, so there's a vibrational frequency component of emotion. The emotions here in the sacral, I mean, in the sacral Hada Chakra are around 417 hertz, 417 hertz. The you have a physiological and a biological component of emotion. You have a behavioral component of emotion, and then you have a mind component of emotion. So what is the vibrational frequency of emotion? First, understand that every cell in your body has a vibration of life, whether you're aware of it or not. Every cell is comprised of energy and your potential of fully resonating 
with the life force is right there. Every cell in your body is affected by the emotional vibrational frequency that you manifest. Second, emotions have voltage. The vibrational frequencies of emotions are in a vertical dimension of contraction and expansion relative to the vibrational uh, voltage of a particular emotion. Emotions resonate with the vibrational frequency that they generate. The higher the vibrational frequency, then the higher the expansion and the greater the life force of your cells. The lower the vibrational frequency, then the greater the contraction and the lesser the life force in your cells. For example, enlightenment is said to be past nine, uh, 963. And then joy, for instance, is 528. And the vibrational frequency of, of anger is way down there below 100. The emotional energy can feel fluid and spacious, like in a deep state of meditation, bliss, or equanimity. And the emotional energy vibration can be like the ripples in a lake, not disturbing, but feeling sensations nonetheless present. So the emotional energy vibration can be like a torrent in a river, and you can watch it I've watched it float by everything all in it like a torrent. The emotional energy vibration can be like an earthquake tremors. It can be like lightning bolts. It could be like heat. It could be like in a state of anger. Emotional energy can be like a tsunami wave that hits you with the full force and knocks you in. And then it can, the, the emotional energy of depression can feel heavy, just kind of weight down on your shoulder like this weight there. So what is the physiological or biological component of emotion? Emotional energy manifests itself in the body in the form of physical sensations. So these emotions are also called feelings. For example, the energy physical sensation may take uh, in the form of anger may feel like heat and your breath goes in, your hair is going to stand up on the back of your neck and your heart rate is going to rise and your, and your arteries are going to constrict and you're going to feel all of this blood pressure increase and the muscles are going to are going to tense and contract and the stress hormones, cortisol, are going to be released. Emotional energy, physical sensation.